Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another weekly grind video. So today we're going to be going over all of the information for the global NJP side in terms of events and summon banners that are currently available and their end dates. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Uh, first one is going to be for the global side. Dragon Ball Super Future Trunk Saga is here. That runs until 2-9. So you have a couple of weeks, you have what, a week, a little bit over a week for that to run? You have about, yeah, two weeks for that to run, actually. Um, you have, uh, let's see, it's the 24th today, so two exactly two weeks from now is the 7th, so you have an additional two, uh, two days on top of that. So the Friday of the 9th is when this event will end. It has a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. Uh, Sensu Beans on Stage 2 if you're lacking them. Some of you who've been playing for a long time probably have a max out box like I do. Stage 3 is some awesome training items. Wouldn't really recommend. You don't really need to go through them. I mean, maybe if you're trying to uh, level up some units if you don't have enough, uh, that'd probably be a good stage for you. Stage 1 is from Awakening Metals. Um, stage 4 is the Farmable Trunks. Edoken Awakens into a Super Saiyan. Stage 5 is going to be Additional Awakening Metals. Um, stage 5 is probably the one you're going to want to grind out if you're looking for specific Awakening Metals because these are the ones that are harder to come by. These are the ones that typically always run out first. Thing is, it's really randomly generated, so it's not like you're going to get one specific one. If you're looking for one specific metal, always do the Awakening Metal events. Uh, stage 6 is going to be the Trunks Metals, which is required to Z-Awaken him. Um, uh, well, Doken Awaken, the, sorry, Doken Awaken the Stage 4 Trunks. And Stage 7 is going to be the Trunks and the Vegeta Metals, which you'll also need, which is a pain in the butt because it typically only drops one more often than the other. Uh, if they're available in Baba Shop, I definitely recommend per picking them up via Baba Shop as well. So make sure you check out the Baba Shop every off so often. Um, pretty good event. Uh, this Trunks, uh, this is Super Saiyan Trunks from the future, will feed into the physical and the intelligence Super Saiyan Trunks from the future. So you can increase the super attack with this unit over here. Just a pain in the butt to grind it out. Um, it's pretty cool though. Once it's done, it's a free super attack increase. I would do it. The reason why I say it's a pain in the butt is because of stage 7 drop rates for the different metals. That's really the only thing. Um, outside of that, uh, this physical trunks, the one that Doken awakens from his own medals from this event, is really awesome when you Doken awaken him. He's a really good support unit, so make sure you get that. This Vegeta, you don't need to worry too much about him. He is pretty cool. His attack and defense will 70% when facing one enemy when he's Doken awakened. But honestly, he's not one of the most useful units in the game, and not a lot of unit people will use him on a mono team. You can, I think it's just because he's underwhelming for the amount of good super units that are in the game for super technique. If you don't have all of those good units, though, he was definitely not someone you would, you know, pass up to have on your team. So you can go ahead and grind that out. Even if you don't have him, you can grind out these metals just to have him, so that way you can Doken Awaken him in the future if you get him. Overall, runs until 2-9, so go ahead and grind that out while it's here. You don't, you know, at least get the metals, or the, the Dragon Stones if you need them. Um, next one is going to be two uh, Dragon Ball GT Black Star Dragon Ball Saga. Runs until 2 9 2018, another same ends on the same day. This one you actually grind out the metal apples from the event, which you go into the Bob Shop to purchase goods. Highly recommend doing that. Um, you get this trunks to Doken Awaken. He is pretty decent as a, as a super type uh, unit, so or a support unit for super technique types. He does technique and strength type key plus two attack and defense plus 25%. So you can run him on a technique team or a strength team. He does come in handy for Broly, OG Broly, if you're running him on. Uh, world Tournament team because he'll at least give that OG Broly attack and defense buff and two key which is really really useful uh, There are better units to run for that But it's just notably because he does strength and in terms of technique team even though you don't really need this for a technique team He will help you out if you have a good technique team a lot of over and a flash links are there Anyway, uh, he Doken Awakens with his uh, metal that you get from this event um, this Goku over here can be Doken Awakened, the technique one Doken Awakened to do Super Saiyan Goku GT. This one can be fed into the other Super Saiyan Goku GTs, the summonable ones. Uh, and then you have Metal Rildo. Um, General Rildo, Doken Awakens into a Hyper Metal Rildo. Really decent free-to-play unit overall. Um, you have this Goku who is farmable from Stage 2. He will He's the one who Doken Awakens into that Super Saiyan, which you can feed into the summonable ones. I don't really recommend doing that grind because none of those Super Saiyan Goku GTs are worth it in my opinion. You can if you want to, but at least get him up to Super Tech 10 and Doken Awaken him. He's not a horrible unit, but he's not someone you're going to primarily run. He'll be cool for some Prime Battles if you don't have better units for the Prime Battle if you haven't grinded everyone out. Stage 3, Planet, Jelbo, and Tsunami. Uh, oh, sorry, Zunama. <laughs> this is where the Trunks Metals is going to be. So go ahead and grind that out for the Trunks Metals, so that way you can Doken Awaken that Trunks. Uh, stage 6 is going to be the Pan Metals, Lud Activate It. Uh, you can go ahead and grab them for her. Uh, you have the, I guess it's the Metal Rildo Force, whatever the heck that is. Uh, their Metals are on Stage 8. That's going to be for Metal Rildo's Doken Awaken. Metal Rildo, General Rildo is on Stage 9. 
And stage 10 is what? Uh, Dr. Wheelow, is it? No, not Dr. Wheelow. That's from the, that movie. The other doctor. Something in Dr. Something. <laughs> um, that's going to be available on stage 10. All these medals are going to be available everywhere. Um, also, really notable, if you're looking to grind out metal apples, specifically stage 7 um, on Z Hard is going to be the best for drop rates in terms of time. There was another stage on here. I forgot what it was. I think it might have been uh, stage 7, level 1. Um, sorry, on normal. I think it gives you per stamina used better rates, but in terms of time, stage 7Z hard gives you better, uh, more, uh, more drops. So, or sorry, a uh, quicker time for you to actually get the actual apples. So it's up to you on how you want to do it. I'm more for time, so I always go on Z hard, so go ahead and do that. Go into the Baba Shop, look what you could purchase. Uh, prioritize, like Elder Kai is probably going to come first for you if you don't have a lot of stones, if you're not free to play. Um, I'm sorry, if you are free to play, then Elder Kai's are probably going to be your number one. From there, you're probably you need to purchase some uh, awakening medals. I believe the Goku. There's some Goku medals that are required to do to Doken awaken some of these units. You're gonna need to purchase them as well. Um, so just take a look, see what you need. I did a video going over this a long time ago, so go ahead and check it out. Uh, outside of that, that's all that's around for this event. Make sure you grind out all the dragon stones if you haven't already done so. There's only there's ten levels here, so that's twenty dragon stones. Event again runs until Friday two nine. Next stage, or the next event, is going to be Balmus, uh, the Genius Balmus Battle Prep runs until the 26th, so you have two more days. That means the World Tournament will probably be coming out this coming weekend. Uh, this event, just essentially, you just get a really a lot of really good items from this event. Go into it on the hardest level. Um, you go in, and whenever you just look look at any items, you get Icarus, you get Sensu Beans, you can get her Herbs to help relieve any type of status ailments. You get anything you really need to here, and it, it's just a really awesome event to get really good support items so make sure you go ahead and grind that out that runs for two more days uh, we're going to talk about the world tournament in a little bit i'm not going to go too far in depth with it but we're going to talk about it in a little bit the other the next one is going to be vegeta the indomitable warrior that runs until 2 8 i have gone over this event in detail i really really love this event i love the character i love the actual summonable unit i highly recommend summoning on the banner for it I'm going to go over the banner in a little bit as well. This only has four stages, though. Um, stage one is going to be the Trunks Medal. Stage two is where you're going to get the puddings to purchase the medals to Doken Awaken, the, the summonable character. Uh, stage, oh, and then you also have to get the summonable Beerus. There's summonable Vegeta, summonable Beerus. And stage two is what you need to grind out. Um, I think you have to grind out uh, like 56 puddings for each one to get enough uh, Awakening Medals for each of them. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Stage 3 is Balma Medals, and Stage 4 is the free-to-play Vegeta. Uh, he's not as OP as the summonable character, obviously, because he's free-to-play, but he's still not that bad. So you can go ahead and grind out all these for all this really good stuff. Um, outside of that, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, this Vegeta over here, the summonable one, you're going to need the Trunks, Balma, and Vegeta Medals. Highly recommend doing that. He's a really OP unit. He turns. It turns out he is literally the number one hardest-hitting unit in terms of overall damage per turn. On the global side, out of all TURs, it doesn't include LRs, but just in terms of TURs, highly recommend getting that unit if you haven't done so already. He counters, guys. <laughs> uh, next one is going to be runs until 1.30, so you have one more week, uh, six more days, really. Uh, a new threat, Saiyan Warrior Race Invades. Um, there's really not that much here. Uh, the Princess Snake item is pretty damn decent. Recover 55% of health and reduce damage received by 30% for one turn. So she gives you a stam uh, an HP buff and reduces damage incoming. Uh, this is where you get the Moon Nappa medals or the Ghost Nappa medals. And this is where you Doken Awaken your Grade 8 Vegeta and your Grade 8 Braditz. You could also Doken Awaken the Grade 8 Nappa here. He's the free-to-play one, though, so you don't really need to do that. He's kind of whack. Uh, unless you're just trying to run a grade 8 team for the funsies, <laughs> then you could do it. But outside of that, you have you have those two units that really are the only things really worth it here. Um, you can grind out the stage 3 Gohan, which is super whack. Icaruses are on stage 4, so that's something to take note. Go ahead and grind them out. They're really good units, uh, really good support items, that is. Uh, stage 5 is a Supreme Kai uh, training uh, uh, grounds, and that's pretty decent. It's not amazing, but you can at least grind that out if you're looking for some training buffs. I think it's 1.2 multiplier. Uh, stage 7 is going to be the Nappas and Shiaotsu medals. Stage 8 is Krillin's. Stage 9 is Vegeta. And Stage 10, which is the pain in the butt to grind out, is the Moon Nappa medals. Now, those Moon Nappa medals, uh, those are pain in the butt to grind just because you have to go up against Nappa, Raditz, and Vegeta as their base forms. And then they all Doken, well, then they all transform into their Great Apes after you beat all three of them. It's not as hard if you have, you know, newer units in the game, but like when I first took on the event with old units, um, like not like 70% leaders, I was a little bit more difficult. But uh, anyway, go ahead and do that, and it's really worth it. Maybe you'll get lucky. I had some bad luck with the actual drop rates of that Nappa. Uh, next one is going to be Dragon Ball Super Universe 6 Saga. This is going to be running until 125, so you this ends tomorrow, that's actually. 
Uh, so you have a little bit of time left to grind this out if you haven't done so. Don't worry, guys. This stuff does come back often. Um, if you want the medals to Dokken Awake in your hit, you have the Champa and Vados medals that are going to be available here. You also have the Farmable Cabo, which I definitely recommend grinding him up. Super Attack 10, then Dokken Awakening him. You need the Vegeta, the Vados, and the Champa medals to Dokken Awaken him. Uh, Vados medals are on stage 2. You have some Dendes on stage 4, which is really notable because, you know, Dendes are always good to have. They're just like Sensu Beans. Cabas are available to grind out on stage 6. The Vegeta medals are on stage 7, and Champa medals are on stage 8. So that's where you're going to get all those medals in order to Dokken Awaken everyone. Uh, there's also Dragonstone per round, and since there are 8 rounds of 16 total Dragonstones, and if there's any mission rewards that you haven't claimed, I'm not sure if there's actually them. Uh, anyway, outside of that, really worth it. Definitely recommend getting these guys. Um, Hit is really awesome when he gets Dokken Awaken. He, he gets attack plus 80%, which is awesome. And he disables the enemy's guard with a high chance of stunning the attacked enemy. So it's not like he's doing uh, Gogeta damage, but he doesn't have to worry about guard re damage reduction. So that's definitely very worth it for an extreme intelligence unit. Thing is, he doesn't link that well with people, even with his Dokken Awakening. He doesn't have that many good key links, so you're going to really rely on support. But Mono Intelligence typically does rely on support for that. There's not a lot of good linking when it comes to key. Yeah, there's a lot of good attack links, though. Um, overall, really cool unit. He does some decent damage, and he has high chances stun. And you love, you, we all love intelligence for that. Definitely one way to go for team building. Uh, next one is going to be the let. The, we're going to start talking about the banners now. The legendary trunks banner is here. Runs until two nine. <clears throat> I don't ever recommend running uh, chasing LRs. I did do some summons on this banner. I will be posting them up at some point. I just haven't got around the time to editing all of them because I did so many summons off camera. Um, I just record the screen. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, we're going to talk about it. This banner, I don't know. It's really up to you if you want to summon on this. Really, just take a look at the banner. Look at the cards. There are a lot of cards on here. All of the LRs are here, and you have a lot of SSR. Like, all of these are SSRs, and if you guys don't have any of them, they might be worth it for you. Now, I might do a full banner review on this to talk about which ones are worth it, which ones aren't worth it. I know it's kind of a little bit too late to do that, but, I mean, the banner is up for a while. It did just come up a couple days ago, so I might still do it. <clears throat> the LRs are always worth it, uh, but I don't recommend doing it to specifically get them. Look at which SSRs are here. If you don't have any of them, or you don't have a good majority of them, it might be worth summoning on this banner, because you do get a lot of chances to get some really good SSRs. Outside of that, if you have most of them, and you're just looking for an LR, you might not want to summon on it, save your stones for a Dokken banner or something like that. Overall, the Trunks is pretty awesome. He has a built-in crit on top of his ability to crit on top of that. You can add the crit to him with his dupe system if you get dupes of him. And he has that built-in free-to-play secondary attack. So overall, he's a really good unit, and I really would like to get him personally, but I'm not going to go hunting for him. Uh, but overall, good luck if you're going for him, and let me know in the comments below if you were able to pull him. I saw a whole bunch of people saying um, on Facebook that they were able to get him within a couple singles, and I was so jealous. Anyway, uh, next one is going to be Fury Explodes the Indomitable Saiyan Prince. This is the Vegeta banner. This has all the LRs except for LR Trunks. This runs until 2-8. So if you're also looking for a banner to summon just for the LRs and you don't care about LR Trunks, this banner will probably be it because there's a guaranteed SSR per actual summon. You get an actual featured unit guaranteed per summon. And there is the Intelligence Weast. You have the new Trunks and Goten, which are really decent units. And the new Beerus, which is semi-farmable with the SR variant that drops the Technique one. And this Vegeta, who is such an OP unit. I know I've talked about it. I'm sounding like a fanboy right now, but he's such a good unit. <laughs> uh, the Beerus is actually really awesome, too, when he Dokken Awakens. He does a lot of damage. Thing is, Super Intelligence, you're kind of not going to use him that much unless you really want to pair him with Whis, but Whis is more of a support unit. So it's really up to you if you're going to run them two together. It's just it's cool to do if you really want to. You could definitely build a team around it. You could use like the two Gogetas if you have them. Um, if you have an LR Gohan, it'll be Gogeta and LR Gohan. Or you could just have the two Gogetas, and then you have like Super Saiyan God Goku and Gogeta on one end if you're trying to like do a God form team. Or if you're just doing like a Realm of Gods team, he would be really good to replace any of the other Beeruses because he's a little bit more um, set for that kind of stuff. I mean, he does have that guaranteed passive. I believe it's attack plus 100% or 120%, but, um, unlike the, um, the Strength Beerus, who can do more damage, it's not, that, that Strength Beerus isn't guaranteed. Um, anyway, this is really good b uh, banner. I definitely recommend getting it. At least to get one, I went until I got, um, two of them. So, you know, just stay tuned, you'll see that those videos. <laughs> but um, he's really good to definitely have him, and at least the bottom right do path unlock if you can get it. I'm not saying drain your stones, but it's worth going for this banner, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, outside of that, he does have a rage mode, as I already talked about, and the banner is just awesome. Um, good luck, and hopefully you guys can pull some LRs, because there are some good LRs on this banner. Again, runs until 2-8. The tech banner is also here for six more days. 
you can go ahead and summon on it. I pulled on this and I want to get some things that I didn't get. But you can get some Elder Kai's from here. It's really good for mono, a mono technique team. So highly recommend doing that if you're looking for a mono technique team for these technique characters. Um, the Bardock's really good. The Tien is awesome. And the Cell is really good if you're looking to go for that Bio Broly team. Uh, outside of that, you also get Elder Kai's per summon. So it's really not like a lose-lose if you need some Elder Kai's. Plus, uh, the Goku Black is on this banner. The LR Goku Black and Rose is on this banner because, you know, it's a mono technique banner. Um, and outside of that, that's about it. It's a cool banner to have. If you're looking for a mono technique team, it's probably worth you summoning on. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about the 19th World Tournament. So we're not going to go too far into it. The dates here are actually incorrect. It's not 115. That was last weekend. I believe it's coming out this weekend. So the have summons that are going to be running for a, for a while. Um, this might be, yeah, this is a little bit off. It says it's only available for two days, so I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But we do have the ranking rewards. It is going to be this Gohan. Number one place gets 14 of those Gohan for Super Tech 10 with all four Dupes unlocked. You have the SSR tickets, three times guaranteed SSR, 10 Elder Kai's, as we typically get. Um, I guess that's really all there is to mention. I mean, if you're just looking for something realistic, top 10,000, you get at least one of him if you're just trying to get, get the card. Um, once you're in the top 10,000, you'll at least get him. I might try to go for the top 10,000. We'll see what happens. Um, the LR Broly team is definitely looking pretty good, especially now since I got that Chinemba. But outside of that, I mean, it's really up to you. With the top 10,000, you get one Gohan, one guaranteed SSR, three Dragon Ball Summon Gold ones, uh, two Elder Kai's, and then three Platinum Hercule statues. which is actually kind of worth it for me. Um, the next one would be the 5,000th place where you get two of those Gohans. And at that point, I don't really think it's worth it. Uh, unless you really want that bottom right dude path unlocked of him, you could probably get him in the future from Summon. Uh, overall, I don't think it's worth grind going for him. Um, outside of that, I mean, it's up to you. The Piccolo is still going to be the local reward, so if you're looking for those Piccolos, I'm probably just going to go for the Master Marks. You know, I'll probably go for second place if I can help it, like second and third place. That way I can get the 40 Master Marks. I don't need the Piccolos. Uh, but it just so happens that whenever I go, I usually try to place in the top, like, 2,500, and that always puts me in first place. So who knows? Maybe this time I won't get as lucky. But, um, again, I don't think this tournament is as worth it. Uh, this is the only card that's going to be available. We're going to talk about him really quick. Uh, his leader ability is kind of meh. It's only intelligence type key plus two, attack and defense plus 50%. Maybe when he Doken Awakens, he'll get key intelligence type key plus three. But he's not going to be doing HP buff regardless. He, well, he probably won't be doing an HP buff regardless. So it's not like it's going to matter too much. His super attack, Masenko, causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense by 30% for three turns. I'm not a big fan of that type of a passive skill because it's only three turns. Even if it wasn't three turns, just that, that unless it greatly raises attack for one turn, I'm not really a big fan of it. But it's attack and defense, and overall, he'll probably do doing a little bit better, though he won't be a primary unit to run. Passive skill, key plus three, attack and defense plus 60% when facing two or less enemies. So it's going to make him a little bit more viable. He's definitely self-reliant because he'll be giving himself key plus three. So if you're doing a double key plus three lead, he'll at least have nine key starting out. So he only needs a, um, a couple key to get him launching super attacks. Um, doesn't definitely helps him out if you don't have that many guys to link with him. Um, his link skills are kind of whack. Saiyan Warrior Race is just kind of throwaway because it's a flat out buff of 700, which isn't really good. Um, all in the family, even if it got hit off, it's only a defense buff. And 15% defense isn't nothing to laugh at, but it's not that often that you're going to find characters that can run with this link skill on a team that you're going to want to. And even if you do, it's only going to help tanking a little bit. The Saiyan Lineage is really kind of throwaway. Also, not that many people have it. And even those that do have it, it's very rare. Like, I guess this pan for Mono Intelligence team, that is. Um, I think this Gohan, but I don't think that this Gohan Kid, I think this is. And this is what, Gohan Youth? Yeah. They might be able to link together, so that's good for support items. Gaze of Respect, the Gohans do have, the LR Gohan has this, and the LR Piccolo has that. So if you're looking for a linking buddy, that might help out a little bit because you get the key and Shocking Speed. So the LR Gohan and the LR Piccolo do have Shocking Speed. So it's going to help them out. That's going to be four key between the two of them. Um, so overall, it might be a little bit more beneficial for you, but uh, this guy's more for, while he's decent for attacking, uh, he's more, I'm going to say, and I hate to say this, more support for the two LRs, and he's kind of horrible support for them, even though he's a key generator for them. But um, overall, he's not a horrible unit. He could do better. I guess after three turns, attack and defense by 30%, that's what, 90% on top of the 60%, so he might be hitting um, a little bit harder. After a while, I just don't know how hard, and I don't think it would be worth it in my opinion. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about him down in the comments below. I don't think he's worth the grind to get all of them, but maybe the top 10,000. Good luck if you are going to be going for it. Um, one other thing, notable thing before we jump over to the JP side is the Super Saiyan 3 Broly has been translated. So we don't know when he's going to get released. There's no release date on it, but we know that he's probably going to be coming soon. And that means we're also going to be getting his Dokond variant. So we can go, we're probably going to get that really, really soon. 
I'm looking forward to his Do the, the, the physical Dokkan variant. That one goes into Super Saiyan 3. He is actually a really good unit. Supreme damage to the enemy. Key plus 3 attack plus 70% at the start of the turn. I know I said that the Gohan wasn't that worth it because he is very similar. The thing is, uh, the, the other Super Saiyan Broly really didn't have that many good people to link with on a mono extreme team. Now he does. He links with his Super Saiyan 3 variant, which makes him a little bit, a little bit more awesome. So, and he, he's a free-to-play unit. Anyone can grind him out. If you guys haven't done so already, I highly recommend grinding out um, him up to Super Attack 10, getting all four Dupes unlocked after you Doken Awaken him, then getting another unit to get up to Super Attack 10, um, and then Doken Awaken him, so that way you could have the Super Saiyan variant if you want to run him. And, because uh, one Super Saiyan Broly, then you have the Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, which is the physical one, then you have the Super Saiyan 3 Broly. So all three of them can be run on the same team if you want to. Um, anyway, that's just for future reference. We're going to jump over to the JP side now. So now we're on the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Um, we're going to go through this one a little bit quicker. I'm you know, sorry for uh, rambling on that. That's a 20-minute ramble for the global side. I just wanted to make sure I covered everything in depth. Uh, for those of you who just want to hear the global news, thank you for joining me. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all later. For those of you who want the rest of the JP news, stay tuned. Um, all right, so the story event runs until 3-9, I guess. This is for the Battle of Gods event. You have the Beerus Medals, which are available for the Goku. You can Dokkan Awaken the Intelligence uh, Super Saiyan God Goku card. With the Beerus Medals, Whis Dokkan Awakens with the Whis Medals, the Intelligence, and the Technique one. Same exact medals, they both Dokkan Awaken with those medals. You also have this Goku, which Dokkan Awakens into the Super Saiyan one. Wow, you can tell how garbage that artwork is. Um, yeah, he Dokkan Awakens. He can feed into the other Super Saiyan Gokus with like a 50% chance to, to increase the Super Attack. And then the most notable one, as I've always mentioned, is going to be the Super Saiyan Goku, the physical white hot face off Goku, which Dokkan Awakens into the Super Saiyan God Goku. You Z awaken him to a ultra rare in order to increase the super attack of any other uh, Super Saiyan God Goku's by a uh, super attack by 100%. 100% chance to increase their super attack, that is. Uh, Beerus Metals are stage one, uh, Whis Metals are stage two. Stage 3 and 4 are going to be really good support items. Highly recommend doing them, getting them. Uh, stage 5 is Gohan. 6 is Goten and Trunks. 7 is Vegeta. 8 is Videl. Goku is stage 9. And that's really it. That's notable for you to get. Then you can do the rest of these stages if you would like to. Uh, I like the... See, back in the day, the peel-off uh, peel support item is really good because it's sealed super attacks. And you want that for Super Vegito. You don't really need it as much as everyone really tanks really well. Um, but it's definitely worth getting because there's not a lot of items that actually do that and they're hard to come by. So definitely recommend grinding them out and picking them up from the Baba Shop. Again, guys, this runs for a while, so you have a long time while this event is around. Uh, the next one is going to be the Saiyan Warrior Race event that came out. I already talked about this, so I'm not going to go in detail about this. It's the same one with the Moon Nappa for the Vegeta and the Raditz. You don't really need it for the Nappa, uh, the Nappa unit, and the Moon Nappa is going to be available on Stage 10. Again, if you want to watch it, go back to the earlier in the video where I went over it on the Global Slug, because everything's in English and I could read that a lot better. <laughs> um, that one runs until the, the first of the month also, for fe February 1st. Next one is going to be the Future Trunks Saga. That one runs until the first is where you get the Gohan and the Trunkses. Uh, and you get Dokkan Awaken medals for Vegeta. You need the, the Dokkan Awaken medal for Vegeta is here. Um, you also need this Nimbus medal, which I believe you're going to get from... I forgot where that you get that from. I'll have to go ahead and... I always forget what, before I do the video to check this. Um, you'll have to go ahead and get the Nimbus medals and the Vegeta medals. Uh, you also have this Rage Trunks, though. Well, not the Rage Trunks. You have the base from Trunks, which cries to become a Super Saiyan. And he gets another Dokkan Awakening now, which is Fierce Battle Dokkan Awakening. Which is really good, decent unit. He's free to play, so I highly recommend getting him up to Super Deck 10 for Dupes Unlocked before you do the Dokkan Awakening with the Trunks Metal. This is the Trunks Metals from the actual event, the Dokkan Battle event. So when he Dokkan Awakens, he gets Fierce Battle, which makes him awesome. You also have the Future Gohan, which Dokkan Awakens with the Gohan Metals. He's kind of a whack character, but apparently he is. some people like him because he has a Kaioken mechanic on his super attack. I think it's cool, but it, he just, it takes him way too freaking long to get up there in order to do that a really good damage. But you can do that. Stage 2, definitely recommend grinding out for the training uh, locations. Definitely worth it. Stage 3 is the free-to-play Gohan. Stage 4 is going to be the Gohan medals. Stage 5 is going to be where you get the Trunkses. Stage 6 is where you're going to get the uh, 17 and 18 medals. Pain in the butt because they have drop rate. They have uh, you know weird drop rates, so sometimes you'll get a lot more of one than the other. Stage 7 is going to be the Vegeta. Stage 8 is going to be Cell. Stage 9, you can grind out Hercule statues. Uh, stage 10... Um, you go, you're going to need, I believe you need Trunks and or Gohan in either of these. Um, in my, I think all of them or some of them. Um, so I'm pretty sure like in this one, you're going to need Trunks and this one, you're going to need Gohan and this one, you need Trunks and Gohan. Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure on that, but I know you're going to need the spe uh, specifics. Go ahead over to the Dokkan Battle Wiki for the specifics of the event, but you're going to need each of those. Um, Aider is a really good support item. Balma is a really good support item and Acres is also a really good support item. Highly recommend getting those if you want to do some grinding, if you have nothing else to do. 
Outside of that, guys, good luck on that grind. Again, that one runs until the 1st of February. Uh, next one is going to be the Yo Son Goku and his friends return event that runs until the 29th. You have five more days. It's only four events, not that horrible. The Ka um, oh, sorry, Kaba. Uh, the Tarble is available from stage two to grind out. Gotenks is here from stage four. He can be fed into the other base Gotenks, the agility one and the strength one. Highly recommend doing that before you Doken awaken them. Um, the Kaba, I'm oh, sorry, the Tarble medals are available on stage three. And you can go ahead and you grind out these um, radishes from stage one in order to go to the Baba shop. You can purchase items with those radishes. Outside of that, nothing really else to mention here. Um, I guess Tarble does Doken Awaken. I kind of whack. I did do a full review on it earlier uh, a couple months ago or a month ago when it came when it went live. Uh, overall, really the most notable thing here is to get the Baba shop items if you want them and stage four for Go Tank. So that way you can increase the super attack of Go Tank. Plus, he's not that bad. You can always increase his super attack if you want to. Um, next, we're going to talk about the summons. This is for the third anniversary gotcha that's being held. Um, we're just getting free tickets from a whole bunch of stuff. I haven't gone over the events uh, specific, the login details, or the actual uh, three-year anniversary information at all. I will be doing that at some point for you guys. But we do have a banner that's there. You're going to be getting some on login rewards for login bonuses. I did a couple. I got one SSR, nothing major. I didn't record it. Apologies. <laughs> um, but we'll go over all this stuff in the future. This runs until the 9th of March, it looks like the banner is going to be available. So we have the whole month, the rest of this month, and all of February. I guess we're going to be doing the celebration for three full years of Dokkan Battle. Insane. Um, we also have this banner, the strongest, uh, I guess this is like some of this world's strongest, something like that. Uh, this runs until the 1st of February as well. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it. I haven't checked if the LRs are on here, but personally, I don't think this banner is worth it. You have the OG Vegeta, the OG Goku. You have the, the Spirit Bomb Goku from like Kid Buu. It's kind of like Frieza Saga, Cell Saga, um, Kid Buu Saga, Battle of Gods, or whatever you want to call it, Super Battle of Dragon Ball Super. So just essentially like their legacies of who they each became from the start all the way to, the, to who they are now. And it, it is awesome, though. I, I like the nostalgia behind the banner, but the units all kind of suck. Um, <laughs> I apologies for anyone who likes these units. I don't like really any of them. This, this Vegeta and Goku are so outdated and they don't do any damage. This Goku and this Vegeta I don't think are really that good. And the two uh, actual units that are here, I still don't think these two are good at all. They may be good for nuking if you're looking for a nuking lead, but that's so outdated and it only works on certain events. I mean, I guess it's cool you could throw one nuking lead on top to make, you know, get some extra damage, but whatever. It's up to you guys on how you want to do that personally. I don't think it's worth summoning on the banner. Um, if there's anything that I'm missing from this about this specific banner that you guys think is worth it, let me know in the comments below. But that is it for the weekly grind video. Thank you for for tuning in. Apologies for like the thirty, the almost thirty minute video. I know I rambled on a lot, but there's a lot of information to um, you know to convey over to you guys. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.